Now we have to export our animation to the to the Unreal. So uh, very simple, click the file, export FBX without mesh. We need just the animation. Then we'll select our folder. I will select this one, type the name. I will use exactly the same name as it was. Click the button save. As you can see, the message, the animation has been exported. Excellent. Now we are going to the Unreal. Here we have our, um, our folder with our animation. And here are two ways. The way number one, what you can do, you can simply take this animation and drop it here it will rewrite you this pose file. So uh, the Unreal will do this like this. If you don't want to do this, if you want to have the more like um, more power, control the process, so you can simply create the new folder, let's say, let's say folder one, and I will drop it here because I want to manage the import, okay. So here, as you can see, we have the animation. We have to select the animated time. Very important because like this, you will control that you exactly are importing the frames which you have created, but not the frames which the Unreal has been converted. And also here we have to, to select the skeleton. In our case, we will select the mannequin. This is the simplest one. As you can see, this is um, placed on the game, characters, mannequins, meshes, the default one. And click the button, import all. So as you can see, our animation is here, it is working, it is exactly came as uh, we did it in the, in the Unreal. Okay, I'll close this, click the button save all to save the changes which we just created. And again, I will show you how you can uh, drop it here so you can see the, the difference. So we simply drop it here, as you can see it import it immediately, say it's successfully imported, but you don't have any, any um, chance to choose anything. So basically the Unreal decide how it will be. In our case, everything is working excellent because I'm double click it, as you can see, everything is working. But if you want to manage this, so better if you will import this into the new folder, you will see what exactly you are doing.